Hey, what is going on pros and press? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another Let's Review. Today we're viewing Walker's new Taste Icon Crisps. So, I saw these, uh, I was on my travels at work in my truck, stopped at a BP fuel station, uh, I believe it was an Apple Green uh, BP fuel station, so not an M&S one, an Apple Green one. Walked in there, grabbed toilet, grabbed drink, grabbed whatever, and then walked around and saw these new crisps, and I thought, hang on a minute, these are new Walker's Crisps, I have not seen these before. And I've reviewed some Walker's Crisps in the past before. These are the new Taste Icon ones. I thought, ah, okay. So they had two flavours in there. They had the classic cheeseburger, which we're reviewing today. And then they've got a Nando's Piri Piri one, which I'm doing on another video. Once I've done that video, that will be in the description below. So yeah, these ones, Taste Icons, Britain's restaurant favourites. And this one is by the Gourmet Burger Kitchen, which I've not really heard of. To be honest, as a brand, I may have seen the odd shop here and there, but then again, that's me traveling. But I don't really know where the nearest one to me is, and it's literally just on classic cheeseburger. So, anyways, before I go any further, if you want to save 10% on XI Energy products, don't forget to use code by Elliot. Or if you want to save 10% discount on X Gamer products, don't forget to use code Mr. Lime. The links and the codes will be in the description below. So, let's have a close look. So, we do get a free burger on. Uh, or a free burger, two for one on burgers with this pack. But again, I uh, with the old COVID stuff, I probably will not even use that. So this is a grab bag. So it is a bigger bag. So and they were selling, I think, two bags for one pound fifty, which of course is expensive for crisps. Two bags for one pound fifty. But you know, I'm buying them to review. It's a one-off to try. It's a bigger grab bag. So we'll let them off a little bit. But uh, yeah, so we'll have a little look at the back of the pack. Uh. Usual stuff really which crisps have, not really anything interesting, just some ingredients and stuff. Uh, there's kind of a little description here which I'll read to you, not really a description, it just says We've partnered with the nation's most loved restaurants to bring you an irresistible restaurant experience. Not only have we transformed iconic dishes into tasty crisps, but you can also enjoy a free burger with a two for one voucher at GBK, Gourmet Burger, burger Kitchen, and that's, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, nothing else to really talk about the packaging, so let's get straight into it. Right, so, oh, okay, that cheeseburger air just hit my face when I opened that packet. So I've got a tissue here, so I'll lay the crisps out and then I'll show you guys as well. So so that's about as many crisps as we're getting in the packet. So about half a bag, but it definitely is more than what you get in a normal packet. Because a normal packet is, well, you almost get literally none at all now, don't you? But anyways, so, okay. So there's the crisps. Let me take some of these out. They're pretty good size, to be honest. I'll give you guys a little show in the middle as well. That's what they are like inside. So they seem to be a decent, they seem to be a decent size. And so there is a fair few in there for, for a grab bag anyway. So the smell. I'm almost getting kind of, you know that kind of mustard type, ketchup type kind of McDonald's smell you get? I'm kind of getting that. But very, very lightly. But for the most part, yeah, it just smells of... I mean, it does smell of like cheeseburgers as such, but it just smells of, like I said, smells of that ketchup kind of cheesy mustard smell you get from McDonald's kind of in, in the burgers, like that condiment smell, shall I say. Rather than actually smelling of an actual burger, it smells of condiment smell to do with burgers, if that makes sense. Yeah. But to so, in a blind taste test, or sorry, blind smell test even, I really don't know what you probably guess at that. It's just, yeah, just... Smells of some sauces, something like that. So put these to one side. Let's have a closer look. So there's the crisps, close up. Of course, a crisp is a crisp. It's purely just doing this review on the uh, on the taste and flavour. Yeah, smelling up a bit closer. Again, just has that condiment smell. Really, it doesn't really smell nice, but it doesn't smell nasty. It just smells of that smell, if that makes sense. So let's give one a taste. Hmm. I had to stop for a second there because that was a bit. Okay. Hmm. So to start off with, you kind of get nothing. Then you get. Then you get a. Uh, let me taste one more. Hmm. 
So to start off with, you kind of got nothing, and then you kind of get this hit of kind of, again, that kind of artificial ketchup kind of condiment taste, and then there's a little break, and then in the aftertaste, it tastes, or not the aftertaste, but the end of the flavour, end of the crisp, it tastes like, it tastes like you're eating a McDonald's cheeseburger that's gone cold, basically. That's what it tastes like. Let me try a few more. Let me show them about three of my gob. And, uh, just to see what they taste like. One, two, that's pretty big. Three. Well, let me, here you go. Let me put a few in. See what it tastes like rather than doing one by one. Because let's be honest, most people generally shove two, three at a time, don't they? Yeah, that, that that McDonald's burger taste at the end is really, really strong. Not the nicest, to be honest. As a cold McDonald's burger is, I mean, I don't mind them cold. You don't really want to eat them cold anyway. But they're not like, you know, the best taste. And it's just got that kind of, it's just got that, you know, that ketchup kind of mustardy condiment taste still at the end. And it literally does taste of eating a McDonald's cheeseburger. Whether it's trying to advertise, whether it's trying to actually say it's that it it's it tastes like a gourmet burger kitchen burger, then well, I wouldn't definitely I wouldn't agree with that. Because let's be honest, various crisps and companies have done cheeseburger flavor throughout the years. But I guess as this, this is a branded uh, crisp one, just like the Nando's Piri Piri crisps are, it's like that now has a representation on the brand. And what I'm getting from this packet is that their burgers taste like McDonald's burgers. But it's a crisp. So it's all it is is a dust. Well, not dust, but, you know, it's, it's flavouring, isn't it? it it's, uh, it, it's, well, it is dust, basically. Flavour dust, whatever you want to call it. So uh, spices, herbs. It's basically that. Chem not even ke chemicals, if you want to call it. You know, it's the dusting that goes on crisps. So, yeah, interesting, but definitely not the best. I definitely wouldn't eat these again. But literally, it's like it's like even if you compare the Domino's, the Domino's cheeseburger pizza, it tastes like a Big Mac. So, you know, it's uh, if you haven't tried the, uh, the Domino's pizza, no, Domino's, the Domino's burger pizza, try it because it literally tastes like a Big Mac. But yeah, they're not the best. Give them a McDonald's burger, which again is not the greatest. A lot of people probably won't like that. I just hope them Piri Piri ones are. Better, which like I said, when I've done them, I'll put them in the description below. But yeah, I'll give that in the middle, guys. I won't give it a thumbs down because they're not disgusting. They're kind of just like, meh. But they're not nice. They're not definitely, they're not a thumbs up. So I'll give it straight in the middle. So, but yeah, as always, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.